Hey everyone, I'm Eugene Bess. I am so excited to start a new series um, of videos where I basically teach Japanese. I have a degree in Japanese, I speak Japanese. I would like to use my knowledge to spread this wonderful language and culture with you all. Um, with that, I will get right into this video. Um, this video is basically explaining, kind of setting up what I will be doing, how this will work, things like that. Hopefully get you interested in learning Japanese. This is, I'm going to make it as easy and as basic as possible, really, you know, down to the high school level. Um, the only prerequisites you should know are hiragana and katakana. You should know some kanji. Uh, I will be using a lot of kanji, but I also use some furigana, uh, the hiragana above the kanji that tells you how to read the kanji. I will use that a lot, but also I, I don't want you to rely on that too much. Basically, as we go through each lesson, I want you to learn the words with their kanji along the way. So um, I'm going to try to minimize the amount of hiragana and katakana I use for words with kanji. You need to know some basic vocabulary. Of course, I'm going to provide vocabulary lists and stuff like that for each lesson. And pronunciation basics. You should know how to pronounce the Japanese language. There are plenty of videos out there on how to do it, stuff like that. Just a disclaimer, all the information in all my lectures comes straight from me, from my head, all the examples, all the sentences, everything I make up myself, I don't take from anywhere else. Um, the, only, the only thing that is based off of something else would be the pattern, not the pattern, the order in which we go through topics, basically, the topic order. The topic order... Um, is based on the Nakama series, Nakama 1, I will be using as the reference for all the topics I will discuss in these videos. I'm not taking directly from Nakama at all, I'm just basing it, using it as a basis or a standard for what topics I should go through. If you want to follow along, if you want to work your way through the Nakama textbook series, I highly recommend that. Go right ahead. It will fit well with these lectures. Um, there are ways you can buy them online, the Nakama books. There are, you know, ways to find them for free online. I'm not advocating internet piracy. I'm just saying I know a guy who found them for free as PDFs online. Do some looking. Maybe you can find it too. Don't do it. Don't do it, of course. Get your hands on Nakama and um, if you want to follow along that way. The course, this is a course, there is an outline. We'll follow roughly these topics. This list is always changing and as I make more videos in the playlist, I will change these as well. This is not a set list. Uh, here's some more stuff like that. Every video will follow a specific outline. Actually, this outline isn't too accurate. As I started making the PowerPoints uh, for these videos, I realized that uh, maybe this order isn't the best. So, but most of the videos I can tell you will have an opening and an introduction to the grammar. Most of it I'm teaching mainly grammar in these lectures. Uh, we will review constantly because reviewing is so important so that you don't forget anything. We will review a lot. I'm going to have a key phrase or a key sentence at the beginning and at the end of every lecture so that you know you can know what to expect at the beginning of the lecture and then you can reflect on what you've learned at the end of the lecture. We're going to have grammar structure. I'm going to explain every grammar structure with formulas, specific formulas. I'm going to pro always provide examples um, as well as cautions and warnings, and common, mis uh, common pitfalls or you know, mistakes that students make with certain structures. I'm going to have activities throughout each lesson, and I'm going to ask that you participate as a viewer, as a learner. This will help you reinforce the, you know, stuff that I just taught, stuff you just learned. I'm going to put in some notes, uh, again, the warnings and common mistakes. And then at the end, I will also have a listening, not only translation, but a listening practice, as well as a translation practice. And finally, at the very, very end, I put in, you know, credits and then some helpful websites and links. And the final slide is just a, you know, playlist slide that will give you all the playlists for all my other lectures. And then it will be over. I have worksheets that correspond to every lecture given. 
there is a worksheet for everything. Um, they mainly quiz you on the vocabulary and the grammar. The worksheets are free, and I also provide the answers for the worksheets. You can find those on my website, link in the description below. Um, you can just download them for free over there. I highly, highly recommend you print out the worksheets or you do the worksheets on your computer. They are PDFs, so you can fill them out in your PDF viewer, whether that's Adobe Acrobat or, or Acrobat or whatever, a preview if you're on a Mac. You can fill them out on your computer or you can just kill some trees, whatever, and print them out, waste some ink, it's all right. You know, I encourage you to actually fill them out, write in them or type on them, however you're filling them out, either during uh, a lecture or immediately after or sometime after, it doesn't matter. These will help to reinforce um, everything you've learned and they act as kind of a homework, right? I will provide homework. And that's about it. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy these lectures, all these lessons. I'm so excited to give them and I can't wait for you guys to go through them. The very next video in this series is going to be lesson one. We're gonna be talking about nationalities, people, and countries. Thanks guys.